welcome back to Tony's Board Bike. Um, I decided what I'm going to do is another scenario. The first scenario I did was kind of, well, it was meant to really learn the game and things like that. So I've really um, gone through and uh, want to do, so I'm going to do scenario two. <clears throat> and scenario two is a fiery Sunday morning, May 27th, 1945. So May 27th, let's see here. May 27th, perfect, okay. May 27th, uh, that'll take care of that. My radar is going to be at three. The background, USS Brain, Anthony, and several support vessels were stationed at Pika Station 5 when the Japanese plane participated in a Kazuki 8 attack. So, I am going to go to Station 5, which is down here. I have a zero modifier on my rolls. Uh, which is the worst. Okay. Uh, so I'm probably going to be getting more planes in this one. Scenario one is one game turn length. Optionals can be used. We are going to use them all. That's it. Kazuki rules are in effect. <clears throat> when in this scenario, if the ship remains afloat and still on her duty station at the end of three phases, the player wins. Any other, any other result is Japanese victory, historical outcome. Uh, the USS Brain survived the attack, losing 67 killed and 103 wounded. She had to be towed back to Anchorage for repairs. After temporary repairs, the ship returned to Boston for restoration on 6 August 1945. From the battle damage report dated 1945, Japanese suicide planes carrying bombs crashed into number 2 handling room from ahead. Bomb detonated in the war room, serious damage to the bridge, serious fire number two handling room. Almost simultaneously, second plane carrying a bomb crashed at about frame 100. Bomb blew number two, smoke pipe clear of ship and demolished structure, superstructure from after the part of the galley to torpedo worksheet. Serious fire in sick bay. And then they actually have like, so one hit here and one hit here is kind of what they're saying. So this is the, this is the four, this is the aft, and that's the midship. So they had one hit in the four forward, <clears throat> one hit in the midship, and the aft was okay. But some serious damage on that. So, okay. So basically we're on picket station, picket five, and a couple of things. So now we need to set up. So our stations are set up already. Um, yep, and our radar, we will have three. So these are more picket stations. I'm not, we don't need to do that. Uh, fighter detection team. Now we gotta, we gotta find out what we've got going on here for the fighter detection team. Okay. Yep. FDT. Okay. So fighter direction team. Uh, on a two to four, no team assigned. On a five to twelve, team is assigned. Um, by the way, uh, real quick on here, I wanted to kind of show this real quick. This is my ship's log uh, with this. So I have a minus one, a plus two, a minus one, and so what's kind of nice is my gunnery officer is a plus two. So hopefully. Um, having uh, a negative one repair chief on the Ford won't hurt me because that's these are modifies are my die rolls. So we'll see how that goes. But having a plus two on my gunnery, that's that's really good. okay. So we are doing fighter detection team. That's this guy right here. So let's go ahead and roll. We have a seven, so it is activated. So yes, I do have a plus one on the fighter detection team. Surface fire support available. That's this one right here. Okay. So two to four, none. Five to seven, one. And eight to 12 is two. And I roll a 12. Sweet. Two. And I see B. For each FSF mark available, add a plus one when determining Japanese death. So I will actually have a plus two on that. That's kind of nice. 
Okay. Now, let's see about our land base radar. Uh, morale's at zero. Land base radar. Uh, we'll see if it's activated. I can get up to three. Uh, and it is activated. 512 is activated. Yep. We're not, we don't have to do weather on the first one because uh, we knew it was nice heading out there. Um, so, so, okay. So now we've kind of, we're kind of done with that. Air support. So this would be my landing carrier. It is May daytime or not at night right yeah nope not at night yet uh so we're at morning which would be daytime so let's see what do we get we got a 10 so we get land and carrier base which is nice okay so now i gotta pull some chit here so for the land we are going to start with a plus two that's always good. Um, I get to add a plus one to my roll because of the fighter detection team. So I get four land base. Oh, that's kind of nice. We'll see how this works. Four land base. And then we're going to roll on the zero, but it's a plus run to the die roll on the zero uh yeah so that is a nine a nine is two carrier based okay so we've got our carrier base all set up that's pretty sweet okay so now comes the fun part we need to determine our things so we started zero. uh so fts is present yes it is that's this one or FD, FDT, so we're on the plus one. Chit value for the type of coverage, so that we've got plus two, so we're at a plus three right now. All shipboard working radar, uh, plus one, so we're at a plus four. Uh, plus two for the land base radar, so that's plus four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we're at eight <clears throat> and our die roll. So we're on the plus two column. So we're at a six. Um, yep, six on the plus two column is a B table. Oh, B table doesn't look too bad. So let's go ahead, we'll do our B table, which is an eight. Oh, okay. So I get the one with looks like the most. Okay, so we will have, and I'm going to pull out my little uh, fighters, and I'm going to write them down in order here. So we have eight on the B table. So we have 180 low, 225 low. And, of course, this is morning, so I'm going to make sure... Then we have 225 medium, 270 high, 270 medium, and 270 medium, and 45 medium. By, by all means, this is the first time I've had this many planes sitting in one <coughs> in one shot. So we'll have to see how this works out. Okay, so we have how many planes? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six planes. We'll have three in the first wave and three in the second wave. Okay. So I have my bucket of planes here. So I'm going to pull out three right now. So the first one I'm going to pull out is going to be the 180 low, so right here. So 180 low is going to be, it's 
going to be Dave. Okay. The second one is going to be 225 low, so this one right here. And Jill's coming. I don't like the lows. And then 225 medium, so right up there. Because there's cert only certain ones can hit the lows. I'm not happy with that. Okay, let's see here. And then we have we have Francis here. Okay, so that's our first wave. Now let's pull our second wave. And I'll be pulling three. So this will be easy. Shigaraku is the second, first of the second wave. Then I have Sonia, who's also going to be on our second wave. And then our third for our third wave is Peggy. Okay, so I have yet to have a special a special plane. Now, just so you guys can see with the special planes, they look like this right here. They have this little red symbol. Uh, there's bombs and a few other things here. Um, so, yeah. Yep, so... These are, we're supposed to pull out. <clears throat> okay, so now it is time after we've pulled these. Okay, so I kind of made a mistake on this one because we have the Kazuki Kikasu uh, attacks. So I need to actually roll on this for my planes. So, the only nice thing about this one is I won't have any of the special planes on these attacks. So, this is a little bit different. So, we're going to go ahead and redo that real quick. So, I have to roll on this table right here. And I rolled a three. So, I have nine planes. Now, I can go back and say how many waves I got. Now, we're kind of back to normal. Nine planes, we're going to have five in the first wave and four in the second wave. And then I need to roll for each one. So, for each plane. So, I need five in the first. So, we're going to roll on this. So, it's 2d6. Okay, so the first one, which is going to be a Jake. It's going to be 7, which is 180, and then a 4 is medium, 180 medium. Next one is going to be, I should pull another die out, 9, 225, so we're at 225, and 4. Four is also medium. Jill, oh, that's a special. It goes back in. So these these attacks didn't use any of the specials. Okay, so we have Oscar. Oscar is going to go to three, which is forty-five. Okay, and 45 is going to be a 2, which will be a low. Okay, so they're coming in from all over. George, George is a 6, is also coming in from 180. And he is coming in, in medium, as, uh, medium as well. So we have 2 here coming in at medium. Okay, and so that's four, and then one, two, three, four, and then this one, which is George again. He is coming in at nine, which is 225. So I have one oddball over here, which is okay, because I can use these five. No, I can't, because there's other. Okay, um, oops, I need to roll just one. one two, four, medium. So we have quite a few mediums here to knock out. Okay, so then I'm going to have to pull. I'll roll for these two, three, four planes. Okay. Make sure none of them are special. Okay, so that's my second attack stack. A bucket of 
<coughs> death can go over there. So now we've got that. Now what I can do is now I can start taking care of seeing what we've got here. So, okay, so this is 45 low. So, oh, the one and two. So these will be slaved together. Because I can't even touch any of the 225s. Nope. And I know they can't touch the 180s. So I can't do A, but I can do B here. And I can do C as well. And that's it. So these are the only four. So I'm kind of nervous about this one. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, so let's go over to now the 225 and 180. And let's see here, the 40D, it can fire here, but it can't fire. Um, and then, A, 20 millimeter A and D can go there. And let's see, F can go here, and that's the only one there. Okay, so I have three there. Now let's put all three of these back here. E, what about the 40 E? E can go to either one. Hmm. Now let's see, is there any other ones here? There's no lows on this, so you can go to both. Well, let's send the E over here, and then we'll send There we go. Hey, that'll work. Okay. <coughs> okay. Perfect. Okay, so I've got all my guns just firing here. Now, I have another wave, so I don't want to go too crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two land based, and we're going to fire here. So I need a six on either of these, so I'm just going to go ahead and roll two dice. If I get a six, um, then it'll destroy it. Ooh, got a six. So this one's destroyed. So... These are temporarily, they're good for next turn. Um, which I have four, so do I wanna, uh, let's do a fire support uh, on this one right here. Again, I need to roll one to 56. Nope, okay, so that one, I'll just turn sideways because it's done. Okay. So I guess we need to start firing here, which kind of sucks because now these right here can go back. They weren't used, but they and they can't be used. I don't think they can be used because you can move them over. Let me take a look at uh, the 40 millimeter C. Nope. Okay. So those... Those, I grabbed the ones that cannot be used on these guys here. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's start with um, the five inchers. Um, yeah, uh, gunnery offers sir, chip value is a plus two. So that's awesome. Yep. Okay, so we get a plus two on the roll here. We're going to fire number three at George. Mm, plus five plus two or eight plus two is a ten. A ten on a medium is flamed. So shot down, flamed. Awesome. Mm, that's three, so he'll go back there. By the way, just because it's shot down does not mean that it can't do damage. Because they can still head in. 
So these five, <coughs> let's go with the five incher on the four. Remember this plus two, nine plus two is 11. This one is destroyed. So that one's gone, so that's nice. Now, I will tell you that these can be used. I'll, I'll take a look, and may, they may be used over here. We'll see. We'll take this one to go after Jake, which we got 7 plus 2 is a 9. A 9 on a medium is 2 hits. 3 hits will get it shot down, flamed. Okay, let's do... Okay, so now the 40 millimeter does get a plus one. So this is a plus three roll. So four plus three is seven. Seven on a medium is a hit. So he is now, he's uh, not gone. He's there and this 40 millimeter E can go back here. So now we have one medium left here. Ah, that's a 20. That's a, that's a miss. That's a miss. That's not good. Okay, G. G, G, G. Okay, here we go. No bonuses. I do get a plus two. Oh, sweet. Uh, so it's medium. 11 plus two is 12 graded destroyed. So this one is destroyed. Okay, wave one is good to go there. Okay. Now we need to roll on table 11, 10, shot down. Now I need to determine if emergency, if, if maneuvers are successful. Subtract one. Hmm. Where is that at? Okay. Uh, okay. Um, Six point nine. I could do maneuvers. Six point nine. I think I want to. Mm. Oh, defensive immersion. Table 19, okay. Okay, so yes, I'm going to try to do evasive maneuvers. And my captain is a minus one, So, and my engineer is a zero, so it's a minus run for this die roll. Let's see, okay. I think I just need to. Okay. So I am on a minus one. Okay. So I'm on the minus one column. And I want to roll low six. Uh, or I wanted to roll high, which is unsuccessful, so I don't get that. So now back to 10. Uh, let's see, shot down. So we're going to start with this one here. Let's see, I want to roll low. Um, okay, here we go. Seven. Near miss, see table 11 1. Okay, near miss table. Okay, so first one is a three, second one is a two. I have a deck fire. 
Oh, where are my fire markers? Here they are. So I have a deck fire. There we go. Mm, now he can go away. Okay, let's take a look at now this one. Three. That's, I think, a miss. Miss snow damage, so that's good. And then that was it. Sweet. So I only had two planes on that one. Okay, so now I think at this point I have to roll to get rid of my deck fire. Uh, let's see here. Yep, and then after all planes damage have been up for the current wave, assign damage. Control team. Okay, so deck fire 781. Let's see. I just have to quickly remember. It's been a while. That's the only damage I have. Oh, by the way. So the engineer goes in the bridge, the captain, the XO. Oh, no. The engineer goes in like... I have to look where that... I think somewhere here. The gunnery. Oh. I got to figure out where the deck fighter is. Which damage, where are the deck fires at? Uh, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. So it is definitely there. Okay, so now what I need to do. Deck fires, here it goes. So if the result is a one, two, three, or four, all fire markers are removed. Okay, so one, two, three, or four. And you don't have to assign any of these here because, um, everybody's trained in it is the idea uh three so it goes away so they put the fire out we had a uh, near miss just caused a deck fire probably some probably some fire landed on on the on there so yep so we are good to go and now we are on to wave two so here we go that's we got to go back to rolling on this one so these are our four ship planes coming in towards us. So let's take a look. Okay, first one. Okay, and let's see. So the Willow is nine. Nine is 225. Okay. Okay, so I was just reading through here. So on table 11, which I think it's 11-1. Oh, on table 11, you have to roll twice. But on table 1, do you have to roll 11-1, do you have to roll dice? So I was just looking that up because it says you have to damage twice. You have to roll twice for damage. So that is something that I that I had not done. I'm just going to take a look here just another minute or so. Okay, I'm going to go with it as since it was a near miss or since it was... So what is that, what is that table called? Uh, I think it's a near miss. Uh, yeah, near miss. Near misses. Uh, I say you only roll once on it because that makes sense. Uh, there doesn't say to roll twice. It says roll twice on table 11 for damage. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, so basically the idea of rolling twice uh, for damage, um, except for the Willow, is a single engine, so you only roll once on the table 11. The Mitsubishi Dyna here you'll roll twice because it's dual, or three times you'll dual engine. So I gotta remember to do that. For the damage, you have to roll twice. I thought it was a little too easy earlier. Although last time it was like something just destroyed. So it wasn't like, you know, I guess I probably could have got some more damage. Cause it's like, one is the plane blowing up or crashing in, causing damage. The other part is the ammunition and the fuel board burning. So it can damage other parts of the plane in that section, obviously. So you're not gonna, you're not going to have like a plane crashing into the aft, damaging the aft, and then damaging something in the fort. It's going to be in the same area. 
So, okay, now back to placing my second wave here. By the way, this is the first time I've ever had a second wave. Place 2d6, here we go. Uh, 5, 135. Oh, I forgot to roll for that one. Oh, well, 135, so we'll do this one. So, uh, this one, a 4 is medium, 135. A two is low. Okay, we got Ann here. Ann is nine. Nine is 225 as well. Five is high. And then finally, we have Grace. Grace is attacking a 225. And then how is Grace attacking 225? High, it's just coming in high. Might help me because I think my fives over here might be able to reach up here. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to see and find out. Okay, so everybody's placed now. So let's go ahead. We're going to... You know what? Before I start my gun, choosing which guns, I think I'm going to use my other surface support for this low. So that's a six, and it's destroyed, and I rolled a two. So both my... Surface supports are done. Dinah is low, so we're going to send uh, this land. Oh, that was two of them. So they're both done. Both my land-based ones are done. And uh, carrier base. This low one, I want this one gone. Six. So this one did get destroyed. Okay. And then the carrier base. Okay, so now I just got to focus on, on these three. So, 225. So, okay, 225 uh, high. So, three. Oh, these I can chain together. Three. So, I can get a plus two, plus one. Plus one for them being chained together. And they're going to go for the high, guys. Mm, okay, so D and E for the 40. So, D and E here. 20 millimeter A. Oh, you know what? These 20 millimeters are all going to have to go towards the low. So, D and E, A, D, E, and G. Okay, uh, I have a bad feeling about this one. Okay, so this one's going after Grace. Okay, so now we can, now that's that done, this one we can, we're going after Grace here. I get a plus one, plus two, so plus three total. Uh, really? A uh, two. Plus five, plus three is a five on a high that's a miss. So this one is gone. So these two are still going after great. Six plus three is a nine. That's two hits. Okay, and then this one right here. Is an eight plus three is an eleven that ends up being destroyed. So Grace got destroyed. It took me way more effort than I wanted to. Um because now I just have these two 40 millimeters for this one. Okay. So let's go flip to the 40 to see if we can get and some damage. It is plus one, so it is plus three on the high. Oh, 12. Okay, so that works out. Damaged. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty good. So that's that was E. So this one right here. D. So we're on medium. 6 plus, or 7 plus 3, which is 10. 10 is flamed. Shot down. But not destroyed, so it could still do some damage. D. Oh, this is the 40 D. Uh, D, A. Now it's G and D. There we go. 
Okay, so now we have to see, we have to roll on this. Uh, emergency maneuvers. Oops, that might be, let's see here. Might be nine, nope, then successful, okay. So now we are gonna roll on the shot down. Flame, so that's a six, no damage. So the willow goes back in and this goes here. And we have survived, no hits, nothing, okay. Okay, for each additional wave, repeat steps, yep, blah, blah, blah. Um, check hull integrity at the end of the phase. We got 7-3, 7-3-Q, okay. Hull and Terry's checked after the end of each phase. Uh, determine the number of planes that hit. We only had one hit. Cross reference table 14 1. Okay, so we go to 14 1. Okay, and we need to roll. We had one to two planes hit. D2, uh, eight is two, two hull hits. So we're down to eight here for our hull integrity. Okay, that's at the end of this phase. Okay. So that's that, and that's the end of this phase. We are now on to the midday, and I think I'm going to stop there. Yeah, 37 minutes. So this is Picket Duty Scenario 2. We just finished the morning phase, and we are going to move on to the day phase. Uh, I will get that out as soon as possible. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.